In this problem, we have nodal analysis. So we're to perform nodal, nodal analysis on this circuit. So we uh, first need to pick a reference node and we can pick e anything we want. So we have our reference node and that is zero volts here. And now we're gonna look at this node up here and we're going to write the equations here so remember we have n minus out for nodal analysis we're performing kcl n minus out is equal to zero so coming in we have two amps and we need to assume, let's just assume that these are all going out. So this is I1, and we have I2. So 2 minus I1 minus I2 minus this here. We have 0 0.05 Vx equals 0. So this is what we call a dependent dependent current source current current source so what this means is the current here depends on the voltage here it's dependent the opposite of dependent is independent so independent and dependent okay so this is dependent on this here so let's take a look and see if we can further expand this equation so we have two and I1 can be written as Vx, because Vx is from here to here, Vx divided by 60, Vx divided by 60 minus Vx divided by 30 minus 0 0.05 Vx equals zero. Now let's do that calculation quick. Okay, so. It looks like I have Vx comes out to be 20 volts. And that is the solution to this problem 3, 7. 